The U.S. decision not to impose those safe duties on Bombardier's C-Series jets was being watched closely in Montreal. That's where the latest round of talks are underway on modernizing the North American Free Trade Agreement. The CBC's Katie Simpson joins us now live. So, Katie, what kind of reaction are you seeing there? Well, as you just heard, uh, Jerry Dias, who's the head of Unifor, he is here in Montreal because he's been getting regular updates on how the talks are going so far, uh, and he has a big stake in the talks. A, a lot of his members have uh, their lives would be directly affected if uh, if NAFTA is changed, if NAFTA is terminated, uh, and so he's been uh, milling around the hotel where these talks have been taking place. Uh, he says that he was caught off guard. He certainly wasn't expecting this decision, uh, but have a listen. He thinks that this is uh, the decision sends a lot larger message, a bigger signal uh, to the Americans and some of their America First policies. So this is really about Trump bullying tactics, pushing Canada around, same thing that's going on in the Softwood Lumber dispute, same thing that's going on in this hotel right now with NAFTA. So it's, it's good to see that even within the U.S. internal systems that they're viewing the Trump administration and his tactics as foolish. What? So we're waiting to see if there we're waiting to see if there's going to be any fallout or any impact on the ongoing negotiations here at NAFTA. Uh, what we understand happening behind the scenes over the past few days, we know that Canada has presented some of those suggestions, ideas about how to get past some of the most difficult issues at the negotiating table. Suggestions for changes to the auto sector, uh, for introducing a sunset clause, as well as the dispute resolution system. Uh, the Americans so far haven't rejected anything outright, uh, so that is considered a good thing for Canada, but everyone is sort of holding their breath. No one really knows what the Americans are thinking at this point until they hear directly from U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer. Uh, what happens is the Americans have to digest the information that the Canadians put forward, and then they have to send it up the chain. He's overseeing this, and if what Canada's proposals uh, are worth more discussions, that could be something that's seen as a good sign, but we'll really get the American tone and where the Americans are thinking when he arrives and speaks to reporters on Monday. All right. And so the talks do continue until Monday. Uh, the Bombardier decision, obviously a huge uh, bombshell right now, you could say, of reaction. But there's still so many other issues on the table. Is there any uh, sense at this point of what kind of progress is being made there? There are little signs of positive progress. The fact that the Americans haven't rejected everything outright already, that's a good sign. It doesn't sound like a celebration, but in, these, in this context, it is a good sign. Uh, we also heard from Quebec's chief NAFTA negotiation, and he's even suggesting, although he's uncertain, he is suggesting that there is so much progress being made, additional rounds of talks may be organized. CBC's Katie Simpson in Montreal.